What's up guys? It's your girl Noah Bensi and we need to talk. I have been getting a ton of emails and DMs lately from new girls and seasoned cam girls that are on the brink of quitting. That is like honestly super sad and I want to help you guys feel more confident in this industry because there are too many of you guys. So if you're at your wits end or even just confused on how to make this all work, keep watching because this may be a two-parter. So if you've seen my recent vlog update, I'm in a similar bind. I got burned by a cam company and pretty much have to start all over and that can be really really scary but it's okay because the key is to knock it into your head. I told a lot of the girls and probably you guys are watching, I've told a lot of you um, that this video was coming out instead of answering your questions. And the reason why was because so many of your like messages were the same. Like new girls and seasoned girls alike had the same problems going on right now. And that's why it just seemed easier to approach this all in like one sitting because it is crazy how similar you guys are. So just take note of that and just know that you are not alone and reach out for help because a lot of us, me included, are in the same boat. Camming is hard. It takes practice. It's not like stripping. It can be overwhelming and it's unlike any job you've ever had. It can lie to you. It can make you feel secure and then steal it all away. It can be a roller coaster. But I mean, once you find your niche and your place and your people, it's so rewarding and so much fun. So don't give up. You're not fat. You're not ugly. And lastly, finding a campsite is about researching all of the campsites and finding one or two that make you the most money. That means trial and error before you give up. I mean, come on, I was on stream. So let's be real. Cam is competitive. There are a lot of us and more and more every single day. We are all sexy, we are all models, and it can be really intimidating. But here's where you discover what makes you special. And I say special and not unique because it's okay to have similar interests to other models. What matters is keeping them personal to you. Here is where you need to focus on your cam personality. Creating a cam personality is really, really important to your personal brand, mainly because it helps you bond with your customers without giving away too much intimate info. So, really stupid example, you like video games? Wow, so do I. There you go. You have something in common. This makes your customers feel comfortable and closer with you. Sharing interests creates companionship. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. Now call me crazy, but I keep a notebook of all of my notable regulars. These are the people who tip and spend time with me on cam as friends and for other fun stuff. I write their name, age, state, country, what time they're most likely on, fetishes they might like, regular stuff they might like, anything, anything notable. Obviously bring it up over time and don't sit there and ask them a Q&A, but obviously having this information helps you not only remember and keep stuff personal with your customers, but then makes that bond even more. So a totally random example, a uh, customer named Dave, he's 28, lives in California, likes feet and anime. So now like when he logs on to Cam, you could be like, what's up Dave? Like, and then he could talk to you and then you can be like, hey, have you seen the new like One Piece episode? And then he can be like, whoa. And then you can be like, oh dude, I have a new foot fetish video on my many vids you should check it out and there you go your fan base is really really important obviously turning freeloaders into tippers 
can be really hard, but not impossible. You just gotta be a good salesman, kind of. Make a fan base goal. And this goes for seasoned girls too that are, feel like they're losing their fan base or their fan base is getting smaller. So make a goal of about, I don't know, I'm just gonna get like 10 to 30, is that a big number? It doesn't even matter. You can literally start with five, three. These are your tipping regulars, okay? So not just your regular freeloaders, these are the guys that are tipping and supporting you. This is where you begin to treat them special, extra special in front of the freeloaders. You get it? Create exclusivity once you have a modest fan base by creating an exclusive membership of some sort. I have like four, such as Snapchat, OnlyFans, ManyVids Crush, even going as far as just being like tip X amount for me to follow you on social media. This will make your circle super tight and your freeloaders feel left out. Here's an example of how I control my Snapchats, for instance. I have two. I have a free Snapchat and an exclusive Snapchat, free and a paid. On my free Snapchat, I use it to promote all my social media, um, do shout outs for other cam models, promote content, and show my day-to-day -day life with a bit of teasing. Now obviously my paid is members only. Here's where I get naked, or I'll offer free video vouchers, and I spoil my little, my little clan, giving them deals that only members deserve. Now while you're doing this, you're like screenshotting loves that you're getting on your your premium, pretty much bragging in the face of your freeloaders. So you're like on your free Snapchat. Oh my goodness, I'm so turned on right now. I'm about to switch over to my premium and do a show for my members. And then your next snap will be, hey, for non-members, click here to join my premium Snapchat. And then you go on your premium Snapchat and you do your show and then you'll get members during your show and then also after your show, I would post like little like a tease of something, obviously no nudes on your free Snapchat and be like, oh my goodness, that show was so good. Like I had such a good time, I love my members. This will make the freeloaders again feel left out. So they won't be freeloaders, they'll just be money loaders. Ooh, I like that, hashtag money loaders. Oh, I left something out, I left something out. Keeping these notes will not only help you keep track of the members that deserve the extra attention, but it will also help you know when to log online so you can maximize your time online and then know what content you made so like you're actually making content that sells. Cause I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time like, what the hell videos should I make? Like. <laughs> Ah, what do they want? And this is obviously a way of figuring out what they want, so. Now I know you probably tell yourself this, but it's true. And you should hear this over and over again. Stop. Stop comparing yourselves to other people. Trust in your own timing. It is your life. Stop living for whoever. Stop living being like, oh, like this girl just is in Paris right now. Why am I not in Paris? You're not in Paris because bitch, it's not your time. So stop comparing yourself to other girls and other people. Just have goals and work towards them. From here, it's just about building your fan base and keeping up your consistency on cam. It's really that simple. Stop overwhelming yourself. It's really not worth it and it will impede your performance on cam. And here's a secret. The girls that make it look easy, the girls that tell you that it's easy are big stinky poopy head liars. It is not easy. Like This is my cam bursting month. I've been doing this for four years. It's not fucking easy. Anyone that tells you it's easy needs to get flushed down the toilet because they're poopy heads. You understand? So I'm gonna cut this video off here. This is the end of part one. I hope 
it was helpful please 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 comment below if I didn't touch upon something that you guys messaged me or something you guys have questions now that you've heard everything that I've said anyway but yes uh, I hope this was helpful and please keep reaching out and you're not alone also join up my my only fans guys because we can all talk about this and be there for each other. The point of my OnlyFans right now is to create a squad. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, I love you to death. Mwah, 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 mwah. I am going to go actually record some stuff for OnlyFans. So stay tuned. Bye.